half wave rectifier before discussing rectifier we must know three things number 1 alternating voltage and current number 2 direct voltage and current number 3 semiconductor diode let's discuss these three things one by one alternating voltage and current when available voltage from an electrical source changes its direction periodically the voltage is known as alternating voltage and the source from which it is available is known as ac source if we plot wave form of this voltage by drawing magnitude of voltage on y axis with respect to time on x axis we will find that the wave form is sinusoidal in nature which shows that voltage increases in one direction achieve positive maximum amplitude decrease to zero then it changes its polarity achieve negative maximum amplitude and again reduced to zero now if we apply this alternating voltage to an electric load alternating current gets set up in the circuit flow of current follows the nature of applied voltage this changing current is known as alternating current direct voltage and current when available voltage and current does not changes its direction with respect to time then it is known as direct voltage and current respectively for example potential difference or we can say voltage available at terminals of a battery or a cell is direct voltage because it does not alter its polarity and remain constant in magnitude when time proceeds consequently when we apply this voltage across an electric load current will also direct in nature means it does not change its direction and magnitude with respect to time semiconductor diode it is an electronic two terminal device the two terminals called as anode and cathode this device has a special property that it only conducts electricity when it is forward biased forward biased means when anode is at higher potential or positive polarity and cathode is at lower potential or negative polarity in this case the diode offers very low resistance to a circuit or we can say that they behave like a closed switch whereas diodes when reverse biased means anode is at lower potential and cathode is at higher potential in this case diodes do not allow to electric current to passes through them or we can say they behave like open switch now come to our main topic half wave rectifier when available electrical supply is in alternating forms and required form is dc supply conversion is required to be done which is known as ac to dc conversion 
or rectification. The circuit used for this conversion purpose is known as rectifier. One of the type of rectifier is known as half wave rectifier. The circuit diagram of half wave rectifier is shown here. It consists of AC supply, a transformer to change the level of voltage, a diode and a DC electric load which could be a electronic device which runs on DC, a DC motor or an electric valve. Now let's understand the working. When AC supply is switched on, the alternating voltage VAB appears across the primary binding of the transformer. This high voltage VAB is reduced to the level which is suitable for the diode and the load at secondary binding and it can be represented by VCD. When this alternating voltage VCD is applied across the DC load having a diode in series with it, what will happen? During positive half cycle, the terminal C becomes positive and the terminal D is negative. Under this condition, the diode is forward biased, which we can see here. The anode is at higher potential with respect to cathode. As a result, diode behaves like a closed switch. We have already discussed it and this positive cycle appears across the load and current flows through the load register RL. This current varies in magnitude as shown here. In this way, the positive half cycle of output voltage V0 is equal to IRL appears across the load register RL. During negative half cycle, the terminal C is negative and D becomes positive and the diode is reverse biased. Under this condition, the diode does not conduct and no current flows through the circuit. Therefore, during negative half cycle of the input no voltage appears across the load resistance RL. This process will continue until any one of the source and load is disconnected. Thus the output voltage V0 developed across load resistance RL is a series of positive half cycles of alternating voltage. It is obvious from the figure that the output is not a constant DC but only a pulsating DC wave. To make the output wave smooth, the useful in a DC power supply, we have to use a filter across the load since only half cycles of the input wave are used. It is called a half wave rectifier. So, this is the complete description of working of half wave rectifier. Hope you like it. We will discuss it in more details and different types of rectifiers in our upcoming videos. Till then, thank you for watching and please like, share and subscribe. To both the direction of field and current. If conductor is made free to move, it rotates in the magnetic field. Here, working principle of motor 
is explained with the help of an elementary model. Here, 